welcome to vlog number six. Uh, in this vlog we're going to talk all about the filming processes we went through and the challenges we faced while filming. So after having completed our storyboards, rough cut and rushes, we decided it was going to be best to start filming them. So we came up with the date after having asked, asked all of the um, cast and crew. And then when the day came, after getting permission to use the room and gathering all of the props and uniform, we headed over to GP3 and set up all the equipment along with changing the route, layout of the room. Uh, after when we got into the room, we all changed into our appropriate costumes for the filming. We then took a picture of our costumes and the way everybody looked so we could return the same way when we started filming on a separate day. We also took a picture of the entire room, so since the light was changed, we could return it the exact same way each day. Um, also, we found out that Mr. Atkin couldn't stay late tonight, so we had to... Yeah, he left, so we did all the shots with him in, since he was going to leave earlier. Uh, once he'd gone, we decided to do the same thing for Izam, who played the nerd. And so we did all the shots uh, left that had him in. Um, after that, we did a few more shots. Uh, then Josh had to go. Um, after that, there was uh, me, Michael, and my sister Eloise, who plays the girl left in the room. Uh, we did a few more shots, but by then it was pretty late. Uh, so we decided that we'd finish the shots off another time. So when we look back at the shots we'd done, we found we needed to redo a few of them, along with the ones we hadn't managed to do yet. So we organised to all meet a few days later, but in that day we had another uh, sudden cancellation for one of our actors which meant that we had a couple of actors that showed up that weren't needed anymore. So we apologised to them for the inconvenience and did as many shots as we could with the people available. Uh, once we'd done that, uh, we still had plenty of time to spare, so we decided to improvise uh, a few shots that we hadn't included in our original storyboard, so we had, so when it came to editing, we had more to get into our film. Uh, to make up for the shots that we couldn't do on the second, the second filming session, we organised a third one pretty quickly and also devised a plan for that night, telling us which shots we were going to do. Um, when the time came, we once again did all the shots involving the teacher first so that he could leave, and after that there was only a few shots left to do. By the end of the evening, we only had two shots left. Um, these two uh, were the most difficult shots we had, like, which, which one was the tracking pan that goes down my arm, and another one was a worm's eye shot where blood drips from my hand onto the camera. Um, we knew how hard these shots uh, would be, so we wanted to make sure we had plenty of time to do them in. Therefore, we decided to dedicate another night solely to completing them, which would then in turn complete the filming. So therefore, we arranged another filming session, uh, the final one. But as two shots only required Nathan, we didn't bother calling in all of our actors. So once we'd set up, we decided to start off with the panic shot, for which we tried numerous methods of taking the shot which included the tripod, the strap on wheels, and some handheld shots. After taking a few of each, uh, we looked back and agreed that the handheld shots looked the best. So if we further explored them, then with the idea of going and looking up to the branches towards the sky, we then came down to Nathan's shoulder. We felt that these shots looked pretty effective, so we did a few of them. One was more or less worth of his effort which were more or less a disaster, it didn't really work out well. Um, when we first started attempting the second shot, the blood dripping shot, uh, one thing became apparent. It was much harder than we thought it would be. Just standing over the screen and letting the blood drip, up, uh, drip didn't look very good at all. The blood co hardly covered any of the screen. The drip itself was completely out of focus and it dripped so fast that you could hardly tell what it actually was. Um, we then got the idea to pour the blood from an angle so that rather than drip, it rolls uh, over the screen instead. This also proved, uh, proved to be futile as it wasted a lot of the blood and again didn't cover the screen. In the end, we decided to see what we could do with the images we had and see if there's anything salvageable. And after that, we decided to stop as it was getting late. So we cleaned up and went home. Um, but even though one of the shots didn't work out, we were finally finished with the filming. So in the end, the main challenge we faced was time. Um, and since our project was all f being filmed on school grounds, it meant us having to stay after school so we couldn't, uh, because we couldn't get in during the weekends. Um, plus there's not much time after school to get a lot done before we were forced to leave, despite us having to be there to um, complete the project. Mm -hmm. But luckily we did manage to get everything together anyway, uh, and we finished with plenty of time left to edit it all together. 
Uh, the only thing we would have changed if we had a chance to do it again would be to make sure that everybody can make it to every session. Then again, the only time one of our actors couldn't make it and actually ended up working in our favour, this was because we managed to get a few shots that we liked, some of which we eventually used in our final cut, which were improvised at the time. Okay, so that's it for our vlog. Uh, see you next time.